I had this experience um, leaning against the tree and um, experiencing just just the tree um, revealing itself to me. It's hard to um, describe it. It was just a glimpse of Mm, the tree being one and equal as me, you see. And so from then on, I realized that, that my experience when I was doing meditation, the height of my net, the height of my net, that bliss is different than when I, when I was leaning against the tree and the tree revealing itself to me. Um, the difference, the obvious difference is that this is, um, this experience, the last experience I had when I was leaning against the tree. I wasn't meditating then, I was um, it was, uh, I was in my awake moments. So in meditation, um, your, your eyes is closed, um, you sit in a lotus posture. Yeah, that's different. And then you wake up, you sort of have this feeling that is left over from your experience uh, when you were meditating and with eyes closed. And it lasts for a while, then disappears, and and then you're back to reality, you know. Um, of course, um, because of all the other practices centered around self-realization. Um, It, you sort of get into this um, yogi culture and um, uh, there's two things that happen. Um, you become um, aware that there is a part of you that is that is um, just quiet and silent as you close your eyes and get into the state through a mantra. You silence the mind. But then, when you open your eyes, you're back to reality, you see. So my concept then, um, my concept then of um, enlightenment became bliss that state of bliss that I have as I meditate if I have that 24-7 that would be enlightenment um, when I experienced this um leaning against the tree and the tree revealing itself to me, it was... I, it was in an awake state. And so... it's somehow more... Um, it's... it's something that you don't have to get it's there, it's, hmm. like in meditation you will have to, to sit down and close your eyes to be able to get into that state, but here it's, you're walking, you just lean into a tree and you suddenly see this and you go, what is that, is that real, you know, but then um, 
you come to realize a lot of things after that and how to sort of um, how to to get to understand self as one as all life you see and the, there's this then of course there's this experience of a glimpse of self and that that is uh, that is that is the most fascinating thing that you can ever experience um, and but but um, very um, it's it's like um, words cannot describe it because it's too simple um, and yet um, words cannot describe it um, so um, so I what I want to say is that when I say these things as I've seen a glimpse of self and you have your own concept of how it is and, uh, and um, your experience of self in your own way whether you're meditating or not or in your own process in your um, have a closer look and really um, understand what the difference is between self and the mind what are the characteristics of self that's a good question to ask you see because I I debug all all this stuff and really looked at it because it's very very important for me to to know self it's it's just like I realized that throughout my life um, the reason why I don't have that, um, relationships that last is because I was looking for that in intimacy that I cannot find in relationships I so I looked and looked and looked it took me so many relationships and yet I haven't found it I know I haven't um, yet I forgot that that intimacy comes from knowing self and that the other person is just that same self and if you don't know if I do not know that self if I have not experienced it I cannot do justice to our relationship 